Kal Halalium, La Yahawa Bahasham, Shal Yahawa Shai Bahasham, Makakwadash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahawa, Heavenly Father's only name in the name of Yahawa Shai, the Son's only name in the Holy Spirit, which is uh, the Rakhakwadash, the wisdom on the Son, these holy scriptures. And, um, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the sincere Achim that's pushing the truth to these feet, his holy scriptures in fear and sincerity and truth to the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Confucian faces who are Israelite foreigners that look like the heathens, so called Caucasians, Arabs, Chinese, etc. Alright? Just want to go into a lesson entitled The Deceived and the Deceivers Are His. All right, um, because in these last days, a lot of people will, a lot of people are being deceived, and just as back then, you know, they were deceived, but much more on a larger scale, seen as the world's um, you know, being populated for judgment, right? Or as Esau said, overpopulated. All right, so this is uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 16. It says, "Take heed to yourselves." That your heart be not deceived, and turn ye and and ye turn aside and serve other gods, and worship them. Mm. Because um, you know Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the one who deceives. Um, you know his creation or whatever. Basically, he's he's trying the spirits to see if they're, if they're genuine or not. Right, train the spirits in this flesh if they're genuine or not. Because in the spirit world, everyone is in their um, in their right in their right mind. All right, this flesh is just a creation for how Shai to carry out his will. You know. And, um, so this is to Deuteronomy chapter eleven verse sixteen. It says, "Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived, and turn your side and serve other gods and worship them." So because we could deceive ourselves, we could deceive ourselves because the scripture says that no man say that when he is tempted, he's not he's tempted by the most high but by by his own lust. Roughly paraphrasing. So by our own lust we would deceive ourselves and turn to other gods. And then you know Yahweh Bashim Mashai would try our spirits, alright? So uh, here's an example here. This is Deuteronomy chapter. 13 verse 1 if there arise you among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give it the sign or, or, or a wonder and a sign or a wonder come to pass wherefore he spake it unto thee saying let us go up go up go after and serve other gods which thou hast not known let us serve them thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet nor, nor the dreamer of dreams for Yahweh your power prove it you to know whether you love Yahweh your power with all your might and with all your heart and with all your soul. Right? Yeah. And um that's that's basically about this. So let's go to uh Job twelve and verse sixteen. says with him is wisdom is strength and wisdom the deceived and the deceivers are his all right with the most high strength and wisdom it's like you deceived and deceiver are his so the most high is in control of all these things he decides he decides everything all right so let's go to jeremiah Four and ten. It says, "Then said I, Ah, Lord, power! Surely thou hast greatly deceived this people in Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. So, as the most I deceive uh, our people back then, the same thing will happen in these last days. People are being deceived by so many, so many um, enticing things in this world." Certain philosophies, certain inventions and devices and whatnot, 
and they they really not seen what's going on you know no matter how many how many times a week no matter how many videos we do and you know they could watch them all and they would just see it as entertainment but they won't see it as as a warning or admoni admonishment for their souls you know Jeremiah 9 and verse 4 It says, take heed, e take heed every one of his neighbor and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant and every neighbor will walk with slanders. Yeah, and that's gonna happen. People, people in the truth and people out the truth, right? I'm gonna be brothers, it's gonna deceive each other. And you know, some of some of those brothers will repent, but then there will be the Judases, you know, the, the seed of Judas. Alright? It says, they, and they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. And you know, we help our Shem, we shall will it. I'm not of that lot, and you know, my brothers as well, but it's not for us to, to decide. For you, how about Shai to reveal to reveal his chosen and reveal those those that are wicked? All right, then and all this is for an example of the most side for the most side to be praised. All this is like if a brother deceive you, it's all experiences so that how about Shai would be praised, you know, because he deserves all the praise going on. Lock you. Thine habitation in the midst of the seat. Thine habitation is in the midst of the seat. Through the seat they refuse to know me, say Yahweh. So because of this deception, they refuse to know Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Let's go to first Kings twenty two and nineteen. And it reads and he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Ramoth Gilead. And he said, And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit. That stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore, behold, Yahweh hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets. And Yahweh hath spoken evil concerning thee. All right. And that's just proof. You know, proof. <clears throat> proof that the Mosai receives people because of their wickedness, you know. So they trust in wickedness, that's what they're gonna reap. Let's see, it's Ezekiel 14 and 8. Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 8. I will set my face against that man, I will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and he shall know that I am Yahweh. Like I said, most I will, would, would use that man to be an example, a sign and a proverb, you know? And if the prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, had deceived that prophet. <laughs> Fuck you. And and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people. Alright? And that's just Mosai doing his will and so forth. Alright? This is the last precept, Matthew 24, verse 5. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And that's what's going on. That's what saying there. 
they're they're the Messiah. A lot of people saying they're Caesar Borgia. You know, which in it's lucky. They're saying they're Caesar Borgia. Then there's some there's some that's saying that they're the comforter and a whole bunch of nonsense that they, they really don't understand. You know that the most I sent for that spirit to deceive these idiots, you know? Why how bash in them shit? And you woke me up out of that. I my brother. Ooh, lock you. Alright. Let me read that again, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying I am a Mashiach. And they shall deceive many. For and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That ye may not see that ye may not be see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows yeah so this show that we are currently in these times Got the famine, pestilences, earthquakes, and wars, rumors of wars are going on right now. And it's going to keep increasing until, until, you know, the end comes. And it says, And they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise. I shall deceive many. Alright. That's what's going to happen. God was going to send forth his angels to deceive many. You know. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. But he that, in, but he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. Alright. So let's pray that we endure to the end. Let's watch for all those deceitful um, devices and, and schemes that. Esau and his own and his and his angel so to speak come wrong come and try us with you know we gotta keep our walk in the spirit and keep trying and with that pray that's that's what's that fine I wanna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Prakodash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstones great millstone which are the apostles and elders of great of Israel Right? Shalom Akim. Till another time.